This is my final project for BUA 651. This is my identification uh, per the um, request of the syllabus. <clears throat> this project is about market neutral long short uh, hedged portfolios. A portfolio, portfolio of this type <clears throat> employs a strategy that seeks to profit a, uh, from both increasing and decreasing prices within the stock markets. Uh, this is to to make the uh, investor a little bit uh, less at risk. Um, you pair stocks uh, that are pretty similar in the same market. Uh, so I picked uh, 11 total stocks, five longs and six shorts. A long stock is one that you're expecting to profit from or the stock price to go up and a short stock is to decrease. Uh, in Walgreens, my first long stock that I picked was from Walgreens. Uh, this is a pharmaceutical company. Uh, the reason why I picked it was because it has a um, it is a stronghold in a nation that uses a lot of pharmaceuticals. It also is uh, involved in some retail, and also Walgreens just recently, or is in the process of acquiring Rite Aid. Uh, Abbott Laboratories is a, is a pharmaceutical development development uh, company. Um, it is in direct competition with Jackson Laboratories, which is state, which is here in Maine. Uh, the reason why I picked this was because of the same reasons before. <clears throat> the United States is well known for having a high drug drug addiction rate. Um, Vanguard S&P 500 is an ETF that is very highly uh, diversified. Um, TJ Maxx is a retail company that I selected because of the time of year going in with um, the holiday season uh, ranging from Christmas to Black Friday. Allstate is a car insurance company. Uh, I picked this stock because of the increasing amount of drivers on the road. Uh, this is uh, evident because of the increasing numbers of millennials that are entering the driving age. Uh, millennials are 17 to uh, 35 years of age. My short stocks, ones I believe that were going to go down, were Philip Morris because of the changing sentiment towards nicotine, uh, which I paired up with uh, the Walgreens boots. Uh, Pfizer, I paired against the Abbott Laboratories. This is another company that um, is uh, in pharmaceuticals. It's a research company that also sells uh, in wholesale. ProShares Pro Ultra 500 is the uh, is, no, is a very low, lowly, low diversified uh, ETF. So it's kind of the opposite of Vanguard. McDonald's is a food fast food restaurant that stands alone in this uh, situation. Uh, British Petroleum, B, also known as BP, is an, is an oil company, uh, and ConocoPhillips is also an oil company. Both of these are involved in research. I thought because of the uh, decreasing uh, num uh, dollars uh, per barrel that we're witnessing that these two would be very good uh, companies to short sell. Uh, I My short sales as a whole um, weren't very good, as you can tell from my Paris spreadsheet. Uh, well, with my Walgreens and Philip Morris, I was pretty close uh, for Walgreens. Um, Phillips, Phillips, Walgreens and Philip Morris were the exact opposite. Philip Morris should have been a long, where Walgreens should have been a short. Um, but overall, um, I was able to prof, I did not profit. Um, here's my expense report for my ETFs, my S&P and my Pro Ultra shares. Uh, in order to figure out what my expense ratio for 73 days was, I divided 73, uh, 365, which the total days of the year, by 73, and I was given the number of, roughly 5. And then um, I took the total expense ratio, 0 0.05 for Vanguard, divided that by 5, and I received 0 0.01. Um, and then I found the, uh, that was my expense ratio, and then ultimately my ETFs uh, came up to about $30 uh, to be, um, that, that I had to pay out. Uh, overall, my batting average was very low. Uh, it was 4.65. I had a, uh, my shorts kind of killed me. As far as that goes, I had four losers in out of six. Um, as you can tell from my gains and losses, my pro just pro shares, my McDonald's were my two highest uh, increased stocks. However, I did short them. Uh, Walgreens and uh, TJ Maxx were two of my uh, more invested stocks and. Uh, they both lost. So in conclusion, uh, I think it's important for me to collect more data, uh, take, continue to take notice of current events before uh, making my decision, and then making sure that all my beta calculations are accurate prior to investing into companies. These are my references. Thank you very much.